YouTube, welcome back to Lady Gi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. My name is Zainab. I am the co-owner of Affinity Academy. We're a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy located in Northwest Calgary. I've been training Jiu Jitsu for about seven years now and I'm currently at the rank of Purple Belt. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about which martial art is best for your child. I had our kids program here at Affinity and we have one of the best Jiu Jitsu programs in the city. There's so many different martial arts out there and it's very easy to get overwhelmed really fast. There's a lot of information out there, so I'm here to help you out to narrow it down and see which martial art is best suited for your child. So you have to think of martial arts as a science. In science, there's biology, there's chemistry, physics, there's microbiology, there's astronomy, there's space science, there's geology, there's so many different branches to science. So think of martial arts as the science and then there's you know different forms of martial arts. So you have striking martial arts, you have the grappling martial arts, you have the ones that you know incorporate weapons. Some martial arts are going to be more methodical, more meditative, some are going to be more aggressive, some are going to be more defensive. They all generally teach focus, discipline, respect, all the things that parents are usually looking for, but there are a lot of differences, so it's important to understand which one is best suited for your child based on your child's needs. Now enough fluff, so let's get started. Now the first thing that you need to ask yourself is what is your why? Why do you want your child to take up martial arts in the first place? Okay, do you want them to become a fighter? Do you want your child to combat bullying or self-esteem issues? Do you want your child to get more exercise? Do you want them to burn energy that they have at home? Maybe your child suffers from aggression and they don't know how to channel that aggression and you feel that you know, martial arts is the best way to deal with it. Or maybe as a parent you might have dealt with a situation when you were a child and now that you have kids, you kind of want them to be ready to face the world. Maybe you're looking for an after school activity and you just want your child to get busy rather than staying at home and playing on their iPads all day. Maybe your child doesn't excel at team sports like hockey or soccer, so you're looking for something that's a little bit more individualized. So determining your why can really help narrow down which martial art is best for your child specifically. Now, in my experience, 99% of the time, parents that come into my academy are usually looking for something that's very practical so that their child can kind of pick it up and apply it to everyday life, and that's why they choose Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And you wanna remember that extracurricular activities can get expensive, especially if you have lots of kids. So you wanna make sure that whatever you choose is a really good investment for your child and that you're getting your money's worth. I can't tell you how many times parents have brought their kids into the academy and we ask them, so what brought you in today? And the kids are like, I don't know, my mom just told me to come, so I came. So it's really important to have that conversation with your child and talk about why you think martial arts is good for them, how it can help them, or why your child wants to do it. Maybe your child wants to do it because it looks cool and flashy, so maybe a striking martial art where they're learning to punch and kick might be more suitable. Maybe your child wants to learn how to sword fight, so you try fencing, maybe you wanna try something like kendo or aikido. Whatever it is, make sure you talk to your child and see what the actual reason is. Now, every martial art has its benefits. I'm not here to bash other forms of martial art. They all have their benefits and I respect all of them. However, no two martial arts were created equal. Every martial art is different and every child is different. And every martial art requires a different skill set. Traditional martial arts like karate, taekwondo, involve a lot of coordination and memorization of patterns. These martial arts are stand-up martial arts, meaning you're on your feet, and your child will develop hand-eye coordination since they're using their hands and their feet interchangeably. These martial arts are usually more strict and require a lot of concentration and discipline. However, a lot of these traditional martial arts create a very good base for kids. A lot of the adults that I trained Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with that had an upbringing in Taekwondo or Karate are usually more committed than people that didn't have that kind of background. They tend to be a lot more dedicated, a lot more positive, and they just have this aura about them. And they just have a genuine respect for different perspectives and different forms of martial arts. So it does have its benefits in the long term. Generally, striking martial arts like karate, taekwondo, they do follow a belt system, so do expect that your child will move up the belt system fairly quickly. This can also help boost your child's confidence. However, there are limitations on striking martial arts and where they can be used 
and which positions they can be applied to. So for example, striking martial arts, you need a lot of distance. In order to draw your punch, you need enough distance. So there needs to be enough space between yourself and your opponent. So if, for example, the fight gets taken to the ground, right, you don't have that kind of leverage to kind of draw a punch if someone's sitting on top of you. So punching and kicking, yes, it does look really cool. But once a fight hits the ground, and 90% of the time, a fight will end up on the ground according to an, L an LAPD study. If your arms are pinned and an attacker is on top of you, right? you won't have that kind of leverage or that ability to punch or strike your opponent. So while they do have benefits, once the fight is taken to the ground, you're really limited in what you can do. If you're looking for a martial art that helps you defend on the ground, then you might want to consider a grappling martial art. The most common grappling martial arts, if you do a quick Google search, the most common ones that will pop up are Judo, Wrestling, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. These martial arts are non-striking, so there's no punching, no kicking, no knee strikes, nothing like that. They're all going to be teaching your child respect, discipline, they'll also teach your child that losing is part of life and that you don't stop when you're down on the ground. So you keep trying, you keep going, and you never give up until the fight is over. They're all done on the ground, but the techniques are going to be very different. Some of the objectives are going to be different. So judo, for example, will always start standing and it's more sport-like. So the objective is to gain points and the way that you get points is you either have to throw your opponent to the ground, you pin them on their back, or you finish in a submission like an arm lock or a choke. Judo will teach your child to be really fast and agile. It'll also teach your child how to get comfortable with falling on the ground really hard. So you will learn different ways to fall and how to break your fall. And if you ever watch judo in the Olympics, you'll see that the matches are super quick, so your child will learn how to get really fast. So judo is typically a little bit more rough just because the movements are really fast and really jerky with the grips and the pulling and the pushing. Judo also follows a belt system, so it allows your child to set goals and follow through with them. The objective in wrestling is to take your partner to the ground and pin them to the ground to score points. If you want your child to take up a grappling sport solely for the purpose of being active and explosive, then wrestling might be a really good option. Wrestling, however, is not the best option for self-defense, and that's because some of the positions, like for example, when you go belly down in wrestling, it's a really good, safe spot to be. But if you're in a self-defense situation, you never ever want to go belly down. Now let's talk about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is known as one of the most practical self-defense systems in the world. And as a non-striking martial art, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu teaches the smaller person how to defend themselves a bigger and stronger opponent without the use of strength or violence. Jiu-Jitsu does incorporate Judo and wrestling. Usually when you start Jiu-Jitsu, the way you take your partner to the ground is either by doing a wrestling takedown or a Judo throw. If your child is smaller for their age, they'll learn that they can use their size to their advantage. And if your child is a lot bigger for their age, they'll learn that they can use their size responsibly and control an opponent without actually hurting them. So they're gonna learn how to appreciate their bodies for what they are. And what else do we want for our kids? We want them to love themselves, appreciate their bodies instead of looking at other people and seeing that they don't have what someone else has. So Brazilian Jiu Jitsu also follows a belt system. So this allows your child to set goals and follow through with them. However, progression does take some time. So while your neighbor's kid who's 11 years old might have a black belt in Taekwondo, your child won't reach a black belt level at that age in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So they won't see a black belt until they're an adult there are very specific requirements for each belt. However, depending on which school your child trains at, I mean, you can always reach out to the instructor and talk about the belt system if that's something that you want for your child. But if you're not worried about that and you just want them to learn self-defense or body awareness, then you don't need to really worry about the belt system. So if you want your child to learn real life skills, then a grappling martial art that tests their frustration in a high intensity setting can really help them become more patient, more calm over time. The camaraderie in grappling sports is second to none and your child will develop a deep love for their team. And on the plus side, there are usually less injuries in jiu-jitsu just because there's no striking involved. With that in mind, if you're looking for a martial art that will help your child while they're standing and while they're on the ground, 
then you might want to look into mixed martial arts or MMA. So MMA will include striking like Muay Thai or kickboxing, as well as the ground skills using Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, wrestling and Judo. Depending on the level of intensity that the school that your child is training at allows, like if they're wearing sparring gear, injuries to the head can occur. Now, what do I recommend? Now, since I'm one of the owners of a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school and since I train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's very easy for me to say that BJJ is probably your best option. However, every child is different. Every child is going to have different needs, different abilities. So I encourage you to reach out to some of the schools in your area and have your child try out one of their classes, talk to the instructor, watch a class, before committing to it. I'll do a video on the benefits of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for kids in a separate video because there are too many benefits to list. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you out in making a decision of which martial art is best for your child. I will be releasing videos twice a week. So like, subscribe and share and I will see you in my next video. Bye.